We're here with Frederick Keys, pitcher Michael Bauman. Michael, thanks for your time. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Look, I'm looking at your your, your bio, my friend. Number one, you know, you, you were drafted in the 34th round coming out of high school. You didn't like that. You went to college. You came out in the third round. You moved up 31 rounds. How much of that gamble that you took on yourself fuels you even today? Man, that felt great. Um, you know, I knew out of high school I wasn't going to be ready. Um, you know, I wanted to go get a college education, um, make my family proud, go learn from learn from a coach down there, and now we're here. So it seemed to work out, and, you know, I think everything happens for a reason. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's awesome, moving up 31 rounds like that. That doesn't happen too much. Guys may move up 10, but not 31. This regime that you're in right now, the Orioles' current front office, puts a lot of emphasis on missing bats. You're, you're averaging just under 15 strikeouts per nine innings. Do you feel like you're more comfortable now with this regime uh, as opposed to the last? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, it's great to know your strengths. Um, you know, they have you – you know, realize what your weaknesses are and go out there on a daily basis and, you know, continue to work on those and build them up. And, you know, by the time you're out there for your game, you just go and compete and let it rip. All right, let's get to know Michael Bauman in person. We'll get back to baseball. When you're not playing baseball and you're on your iPad or wherever you're on, what TV shows are you streaming? Oh, well, right now I had to catch up with Game of Thrones. Um, you know, that's, that's the big talk in the clubhouse, and I was falling behind, so right now I'm – Trying to catch up. I, I got to be honest with you. I've not watched that. Watched two episodes. I was good until I saw the the, the dragons, and I, I just I don't do dragons. I love fantasy, but not that kind of fantasy. What is it that you like about Game of Thrones so much? Oh, that's my favorite part. I love the dragons. I, I can't do it. I can't do it at all. All right. Uh, when I played baseball in college, I had a pair of pants, a practice pants that I never washed the entire time. What are your superstitions? Um. Man, I would say get my hair cut. That's a big one. You know, if I'm throwing well, I'm not going to get my hair cut. Um, if things are, uh, you know, caught up, you know, not doing too hot, then it's time to it's time to trim it up. I'm a video gamer. I don't, are you a video gamer? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, one of the things that I would love to have is myself featured as myself on a video game. Is that something you look forward to coming up to the bigs one day and seeing yourself on that video game, whether 2K or whatever it is? Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be kind of a dream come true. I mean, growing up, I always made my myself as a player in video games, and you know, dreamed of once playing as myself. So that'd be awesome. Are you? Would you be one of those players that argued about the ratings if you're if you're rated too low? Uh, I don't know. I think I'd just be happy to be on there. Okay, from 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 if if 99 is the highest, rate your fastball on that video game. I would say. Let's say 94. 94? Oh, that's pretty yeah. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. I take that. Now, I, I take that too, a 94 on the fastball. Now, recently, this club labeled reboot, rebuild, whatever. When you heard that, as a guy that's in, pitching a ball right now with so much potential, when you heard this organization is rebuilding or rebooting, what's the first thing that came to your mind? I'd say hope. You know, a lot of opportunity, um, a lot of excitement showing up to the field every day. There's guys who want to be here, and, you know, it makes – it gives you hope and, um, you know, a lot of confidence. That's an interesting word, hope. Is it more hope now than you had before? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say so. You know, just seeing where – I think this, this organization is going in the right direction, and, you know, there's definitely a lot of excitement. Michael, thank you so much for your time. I know you're a busy man. I'm pulling for you. I hope to see you sooner rather than later. Keep doing what you're doing, and hopefully they'll take you to double-A and triple-A and ultimately pitch it at Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.